I am totally not a robot thirsting for your blood. In a world you have tribulations, but take heart. This video contains flashing lights. <laughs> I can read it as fast. I'm a slow reader and slow learner, probably. Oh my god. You will yes. Answer now yes, daddy. To the will of this cock. Oh, For same I thing. It's wiggity swoody. <laughs> oh no, it's the robot only using memes. <laughs> it is can be. You can play it. I hope you are not startled by the screaming. Set in the distant future of 2019, we play as the world's first vampire. 2019? <laughs> oh no, it's over already. Nikon, programmed with one singular goal kill Margaret Thatcher. Thus, we are yes. <laughs> the deepest, Finally, a goal we're fighting for. Things that make the game very fun, featuring such polygonal challenges as Crash Bandicoot and uh, bosses <laughs> of color. The devs was that real? <laughs> for some backstory, this game is loosely based on a 14th century fan fiction about God. Therefore, yes, what you, you are about to see is canon to the Christverse. I will not be accused of blasphemy. I feel like almost everybody does a fanfic of like God or something like that, right? Yeah, no. With that being said, the game goes harder than diamonds. And after this video, I hope you will see why. You know, if you can see it all. It's gonna be difficult. There's like the one thing that like actually put me off of playing it yet. It's like so much fucking going on. <laughs> You shoot like a coin or something, then up your minigun shooting around. And there's like so many effects going on, and it's like, can I even understand what's going on? Exactly. Insignificant fuck. That's not very angel like behavior. Don't stuck. <laughs> Don't stuck. Please, I beg of you. Isaac! Keep out. Oh. Uh, hey guys, it's me, Max, or welcome back to uh, fucking Undertale. So the game begins Undertale. in the Actually, maybe you got a. <laughs> when I am lost, I always keep a lookout for my two best buddies. I got. Smith and Wesson. So the game just kind of oh, I see. Immediately. <laughs> I have interrupted elevator Kitchen music gun. time. This level begins as a tutorial, primarily focused on executing basic mechanics as well as be disabled, preferably from a high drop. In this game, explosions and gore are plentiful. Oh my god. As per my design, kind of reminds me of like Doom or something. Pro. My gears must be greased with the blood of the innocent. My power source is Vampire Piston, which kind of like a like a super hot doom mix or something. It means the more blood, the better. It is the only thing I know for heal. There will be blood shed. And as far as healing systems go, this blood is the best the blood one. Gun. Because blood it forces the, blood the player gun. to actually play the game to restore their health. But that's enough about mechanics, because it's time to fight the, uh... Oh no. Oh god. Oh it's no. Funny rock. Post this rock. Funny rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I think my funny rock. ring is broken. Hey there, my fellow girls. Welcome to level two. We have Amazon. Here you'll buy the most important item in the entire game. That's right, I got the power to throw coins. Oh. Because why aim at enemies when you can aim at a target the size of a fucking coin? This shit is amazing. The <laughs> Literally. Is amazing, regardless of the coin's location, even if that coin's location is space or just the inside of an enemy a few times. But besides that, the mission is pretty... The mission is pretty normal. In fact, it's a little too normal. One could call what? it suspicious. Have you heard what? of the hit game Among Us? We have to vent oh, like no. the sus imposter. It's the only way to get the lean skull, which I assure you is required to access the secret door, which apparently just ends the level. Now, as I would soon learn, there is a reason this is a secret mission, because now it is able <laughs> Oh no, the Tataria noises. ...to escape. Oh, it's my YouTube career. I am in great danger. Do not Google Danger Force Season 2 Episode 1. <laughs> in this level, we need to find our way through the back rooms without making too much noise. Because if you can hear it, then it has definitely heard you. My favorite uh -oh. part is the persistent darkness and like, horrifying mm, droning noise. You can't see creepy. anything, Jesus. It really ups the entertainment factor. Now, of course, you can shoot it, but that will only set it back. It is inevitable. Do you have any games on your phone? <laughs> Let's just, uh, get the fuck out of here. I no longer wish to play in the market for <laughs> maze. Shinji, crank that soldier boy. Okay, level oh, three. Da, da, Let's da, just da, da, da. take a look at the catalog. Never mind. So to make it through this, oh, mission, we have to use our coin. Actually, 
can you show me the catalog? I want to order some head, actually. Yes. With a lot of nuance and a subtlety, just like Ted Kaczynski ascending up the normal staircase very competently, we meet the only problem that... Like a of staircase. That's right, road construction. And for that, we're going to need high explosives. Normally, that's unavailable unless you try hard enough. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's the feds. How's that They're thing? here to shoot my dog. This is the Jason enemy. Notable for his <laughs> geometric style headgear and a free shotgun. His AI is a single-celled organism. I want you to fucking guess how I fought him. Following this fight, we acquire our next weapon, the Remington Grenade Launcher. Which we can use to finally eliminate obstacles to progress. Gotta have a but fucking rocket launcher. About the shotgun. What is important or is shotgun. That can, uh, Same thing. <laughs> you aim at it and it's gone. You see, Ultra Kill is a game that lets you parry all kinds of attacks. And shotgun shells just so happen to count as a projectile. So, uh, guess what that means? I'm going to mail these pipe bombs with same day shipping. It makes the bullets go faster. I really hope you don't mind, but, uh, I'm going to use this for the rest of the game. And if that hurts your eyes a little bit too much, don't worry. It can get worse. Upon diligently researching the, uh, larger calibers, we make the discovery that I can load my shotgun a bit more than necessary. That's what? right. We've made a suicide vest. I'm going to join my <laughs> racist uncle in Valhalla. Oh my god. In this mode very useful for uh launching myself playing the as independent the uh the linus dimension does anyone need some tech tips what the uh, fuck? <laughs> is he okay? Oh my god, he's hitting the grid. It's Linus. This is one of those platforming levels. My favorite platform is YouTube. Abandon hope all ye who enter here. That's a weird way to spell Twitter. What the <laughs> fuck? You have Uno. No, I don't. It comes through with your Xbox. I don't have Uno. You have fucking Uno. Every Xbox has Uno. now. Bruh, it's a new pit bull to euthanize. I know he has a basketball, but I was not expecting him to dunk that shit. This man is actually balling. He caught me wearing the pit. <laughs> This man is actually bali. Now, this may not be a long fight, but what is there teaches a valuable lesson to the player. The lesson is up. Use crack. You know, like me. Use Whenever crack, I use of the course. Computer, do not under any circumstances touch the... Thing of which, it feels like a very fast-paced game. Like, you have to be on your toes all the time. Round. So, after dodging his many dribbles and dunks, we eventually reach halftime, causing Spongebob and the crew to enter the arena and sing a song. Oh my god. Is that what's happening? Oh no, 2v1. I didn't even know you could play Uno 2v1. So you do have fucking Uno. <laughs> oh no, I put him in his <laughs> I fucking hear you got Uno. absorbed the power of Ornstein. Looks like I'm gonna have to use my secret weapon, money. <laughs> <laughs> Just pay your way out of trouble, easy. Shinji. I really like how they celebrities do it all the time. More statues. Limbo. It is finally time to enter the elevator, also known as California. Hell has got to be a good time. <laughs> I thought it was Brazil. Subscribers <laughs> live. Oh man, I bet it's got lakes of blood and shit. Oh, welcome to hell. We have a uh, realistic bird noises and also the uh, machine. I have is taken this a selfie parody? with the funny rock. All right, never mind. Honestly, this level is pretty chill. I spent most of it delivering human skulls, but you know what I find really relaxing? Construction equipment. After uh, all, the nail gun course. is great for putting people to Oh my god, Honestly, a I double mini gun. But it just kind of Sounds like my kind of game. This rifle is uh, not chambered for nuance. Hey guys, I'm Ian from Forgotten Weapons and today we're going to be killing a man. Just uh, don't give the statue anything. <laughs> The usual. That actually worked. I really hope this oh is what God. I think it is. Oh no, it's worse. I have to do fucking puzzles. Oh Max, you should play Ultra Kill. I'm sure you love all. I thought this was like only about puzzles. shooting. Here's a puzzle for the game developers. How long until I reach your house? And here I thought. <laughs> Can you mark all the cars and stairs? And buses. Oh my god, I hate that shit. The level was supposed to be relaxing, but yes, it's just so... I am not a robot. Oh, they're not even good, right? I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Oh, burning who do I have to fucking? Oh god, never mind. That shit is harder than Ganyu's hips. So I want to play for our enemy. It has this unique ability called the fucking jump scare. And no, I cannot <laughs> turn off the screen. They were designed without self preservation. Kind of look like uh, the Star Wars droids. You know what? I don't want to go to the family barbecue. I think I belong in the uh, secret cartel tunnels underneath El Paso. How's about we just let ourselves in? Oh, cool. It's a an abandoned asylum. Can't wait to see what lives here. Insane people. No. What? It's a regular sized rat. He's celebrating yet another <laughs> birthday bash. It's very small though. Stop resisting. It had to be done. Let us never speak of this again. <laughs> it was self defense. I was coming right at me. Myself. Welcome to the real boss fight in the game. You actually have to play it. Chuck E. Cheese is no longer fucking asking. How about we just uh, vibrate it until its organs explode? Fuck. I'm going to forget. Well, this that here. works. 
Moving on from the Disney business model, we enter a challenge that offers us a choice: blue team or red team. Why does it look like fucking Mario 64? You get to fight whatever this shit is. I love being able to understand my screen. Really sorry if you thought this video was going to have a bit rate. Anyways, to finish this level, I chose to take the harder route because, as a gamer, it really hits my erect pain. Oh hey, look at this. Oh god, go go gadget coins. My favorite detail is that if you do the hard route, the Honestly, speaking of like difficulty, I don't mind difficulty in like video games. It's maybe it's like my bad experience with like RPGs or something, but whenever I like turn on like a harder difficulty, it's usually just like you have less health or they do more damage or you have to do more damage and that's kinda like it's a bit lame because then you're kind of forced to do min-maxing, which I suppose is like normal for like playing on a harder difficulty, but then it's like it feels like shallow if it's if only like one or two builds in like a game actually make you functional in harder difficulties. Kinda sad. Maybe maybe it's a problem of balancing, I'm not sure. Game just drops you inside the easy route, so you're forced to do both of them. Nothing a little bee hopping can't fix. Man, what a nice looking rock. Hey guys. Oh. What is going on? oh my god, it's the it's iron fucking, fucking golem from Dark Souls 1. Welcome everyone to the Hideous Max fight, also known as your mom. Got him. Now I could spend time explaining <laughs> this boss, but that requires that I understand it. This shit is goddamn incomprehensible. I want to congratulate the devs on the first non-Euclidean enemy. Of course, that isn't why wow. that you can see him, because the grapple has more than two edges. a little difficult. Just like doing literally anything else. So if you do get grappled, get ready to convert, because God can't help anymore. <laughs> and because this boss has armor, the only way to damage him is to hit him in his bell icon, preferably before he slams that subscribe and smashes that like button. I want to thank Smash the frame. Kids, please never become YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm trying right now. <laughs> I finally understand it's it not now. going too to well so far. We have to tap into their only weakness. Children. I'm sorry, but it's the only way. Go, go, gadget allegations. Jesus Christ. Easy I game. This channel's going to recover. Oh, Same. hello there. Same. I didn't see you walk in. I was busy watching random unprotected security cameras. Welcome what? to Claire de Lune. Such a calm level. Very peaceful. Do not knock on the I guess it's gonna be a I fucking really twist on the end of this. Oh shit, I'm coming through. What? The ambience. For you see, the church demands a sacrifice, and the only way to appease it is to provide to me these bodies three. To do mm. this, we have to calmly and meticulously break into your house. And after gathering all three of the balls, we finally unlock the power to... There's like a lot more like puzzles and story than I would have imagined. Most of the things I've seen from like Ultra Kill is just like, you know, <laughs> running around and dealing massive carnage everywhere. Jump through the window. Good to see that I'm using my time wisely. Oh, fuck, here I come. Oh my what god. <laughs> I thought it would be obvious, brother. After all, brother. I am you, but <gasps> stronger. Oh my god. He did say the thing. It's like V2, right? Oh, I know V2. <laughs> I know a little bit. Welcome everybody to the race war. It's a little bit race fast, war. you know, just kind of quick. I mean, look at this shit. The fight is so fast, it's editing itself. What side are you on, Bloods or Crips? I really joined <laughs> the war on drugs on the side of the drugs. The gimmick for V2 is that he is completely wacko. He moves like you, shoots like you, and everything that you can do, he can do better. He can do everything better than you. Oh no. Everything you can do, I can do better. Except dodge. Oh. Because that would be weird. Needless to say, this fight is very difficult. Mainly because V2 is so fast, he's goddamn omnipresent. Good luck trying to fucking heal, because hitting him up close is a Parkinson simulation. Oh my god. I just <laughs> want to fucking shoot him. Human brains Kill are fucking built for this. Destroy him. to be threshing wheat and dying of smallpox. Looks like you've gone a little rusty, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Something is wrong with It would be so funny if like, he actually like taunts you like in game. My copy of DMC. There's this annoying motherfucker inside of it. You think you can best me? After all... Shut up. Over. <laughs> <laughs> I remember how you gave it a second game big game pad. <laughs> and it wasn't even collected. Like Whose game pad is not collected now, brother? It is simple but complicated. Simple in that he has your move set, but complicated in that he has your move set. Don't worry though, you'll get a lot of practice with him over and over and over again. The beating practice in quotations. <laughs> okay, I get it, but Nika. honestly, that's what makes this fight fun. We choose to kill V2, not because it is easy, but because he won't stop talking. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a GoPro. <laughs> so he's taunting great. Son. Go, go, gadget car bomb. <laughs> 
Okay, you know what? I'm gonna call that one a draw. Team Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, looks like he forgot his arm. I Thanks, don't know bro. if this is legal in California. Last. The new arm is a bit funky, a bit monkey. Lock me up, baby. <laughs> that you don't want, but what it is good for is reducing the enemy into their base particles. You better not catch these hands because now they're chambered for 12 gauge. The only downside is that uh, you can't hit your bullets anymore. What? So honestly, it's fucking dog shit, and I'm going to kill my infant son. Welcome everyone to the Lair of Lust. I am already installing Azerlane. It's this game about chips, and you can marry children. So after many what? fistings in the Sewers. We make it to the bounce pad and enter a. Gotta love your good fisting. That's right. We're in Night City now. <laughs> the dog upset. <laughs> Every game became Night City. <laughs> Here we've got all the amenities of a dystopia: street warfare, Amazon training video, nightmare obelisk, the corpse of King Minos, and of course, death trampoline. <laughs> I, um, having fun there, guys. That a because I'm having a blast. The, oh, okay, jumping. I see. <laughs> Your Windows machine has virus. So far, every level has introduced to us a new word. You know, like Dora. Words like anger or fear come to mind. Well, this level's word is verticality, which is a very welcome addition. You know, when the enemies work, I have discovered their only weakness, slight altitude difference. This place will see us ascending the MC Escher Tower, contemplating the sweet embrace of death, and eventually descending down the uh, shaft of lust. You have no idea how much self-control it takes to not reference Genshin Impact. The theme of vertical continues again as we make our way through an actual nice neighborhood Why? and uh, gentrified the zombies. So to beat this level, we have to throw balls of copper into the power lines. It also has my new favorite enemy, Pepsi Man. But the Pepsi most Man. important thing in this level is the Pepsi railgun. Man. Oh my god, the railgun. This is the best <gasps> thing in the entire game. Ray guns. As you can see, Dude, this game has like amazing weapons. Flavors, piercing Gatorade, Baja Blast, and of course, the <laughs> drill. Nobody uses the drill, but that is just the beginning because this shit has tech. You can bounce it off mm -hmm. coins, bounce it into the stratosphere, bounce it off what? grenades to nuke the planet, and most importantly, instant kill everything in the game by bouncing your shot three times. I would explain this mechanic Sheesh. to you, but we would have to consult the diagrams. If you would like to know more, all you have to do is watch an 18 minute YouTube video. Okay, seriously, guys, where's the, uh, where's the exit? The I want to get off Mr. Minos' wild run. Hello, everyone. Tom Scott here, and today I am trapped at the south side of Chicago. <laughs> all right, guys, welcome back to us. Uh, Sheer heart attack. It has no weaknesses. This level is a lot like the others in that you cannot escape his gaze. It has the kind of verticality where you're Who's locked that? in a corn maze. You see, Thank the God. Is a metaphor for my sanity. Always dropping. Man, what a nice looking city. It has so much texture. I can't believe Midas can use creative <laughs> mode. <laughs> At least four pixels. Door stuck. Here we meet our newest enemy. Oh God, what is that? Its main abilities are teleportation as that? well as making me feel a certain way. If only Ayo. it wasn't annoying as fuck. And once dispatched, kind of thick. Not gonna lie. She will explode. You know what? All was that a booty? We crave some secrets, but don't worry. This won't be anything. Have like to the research this Those later. Painful enough. All we have to do is track down the United States power grid. That way, we can skip the level again. This shit always ends well. <laughs> hey yo, <laughs> what is this? No. Oof, ow, ouch, it stings. No, you, you can't do this to me. I don't, what, is, what the fuck I, is this now? I don't want to be here. I think now's a good time to mention <laughs> this that is a, like, you play on Doki Doki. from the Ultra Kill store. She tells you about how you're late for school, and uh, the human oh my mind God. is an evolutionary maladaptation. <laughs> we need to destroy the left wing using facts and logic. Oh Hello, my God. everyone, Dennis Prager here. God has told me the age of consent is too high. So after we finish debating liberal snowflakes on the internet, we finally decide to fix the aspect we'll ratio. Love you, what? one of us has purpose in life. By the way, I'm playing an action game, so uh, welcome back to the climax. <laughs> this is an actual level. <laughs> the wonderful New York Metro system. We're here to investigate reports of the rat men. Also, uh, the train is fully compatible with my auto clicker. They just forgot Boys. to set a cooldown. Don't worry, though. It is literally faster to B-hop instead. Gotta work on my trainless percent speed run. I don't remember like the B-hopping. Of this. Welcome to the uh, boss fight. King Minos needs help putting his fist in a narrow cavity. It's a very simple fight, mostly just dodging his DK bongos. There really isn't much room to dodge here, and Minos can not the bongos. Him, but ultimately, every attack is fair and telegraphed, which is more than I can say for some games. All we have to do is help yeah, find Milena his was kind of go, go, wild. Over. Fingernails, what? Retreat. Don't worry, I'm no stranger to fistings in the subway. All we have to do now is um, offer a whole Every to Sunday. God. I'm sure he'll be cheesed to meet me. Excuse me, sir. You're just in time for the event. What event? Oh my we god. Compression. Dude, he kind of looks like Galactus. <laughs> From the DC Universe. What the fuck? Oof. Fucking punched right in the face. Can't you, like, parry that? 
What is up, everyone? It's your boy, Bugs Life. And today we're going to be living the 510 experience. King Minos is uh, kind of a big deal around here. Killing him is going to be a yeah. tall order. <laughs> this battle is... <laughs> With the high jokes. Deceptively simple, since his main attack is literally just punching you. These hands have graduated from hitbox. I mean, it seems very effective if the head is like ten times as big as you. Tesseract, but that isn't all. Like slapping oh, an right end. Now and I will find you. Turns out, Minos can summon the power of the void, which, upon contact, reduces your HP to one. Y yo, hold right. up. Did my man just give me AIDS? The longer the icon of sin is on Earth, the stronger Oh my God. <laughs> Of course, this is all before the parasites begin shooting at you, because there are just too few things in this fight, and not enough of them. This give me boss nightmares. fight seems fucking crazy. Too far apart, but I fixed that for you. This is the kind of game where, at every possible turn, I have said to myself, "Wouldn't it be cool if?" And the answer <laughs> is always yes. So when I tell you that, um, you can parry this man. It's basically the oh my god. The this is the coolest thing you can do in a video game. It, it is feel pretty like cool. The game devs, take notes. This is how you send the fun ceiling into the fucking stratosphere, and also. Um, <laughs> Myself, you know it's a good boss when it has. Does make you feel program. badass. In summary, you have to try to make this fight boring. And even oh, that reminds me of like, there's like a boss fight. I think it was uh, against. God damn, I forgot the name. Anyway, like in Final Fantasy XIV, there's like a boss fight, and if you're the tank, you have to like block a gigantic sword. <laughs> that's the, that's the best moment as a tank. It's like, hold on, stay behind me, and you like reach up and block this fucking skyscraper of a sword you might not succeed now if you'll excuse me i have a dead horse to beat and his name is minos Easy. oh no i don't think what? i like where this is going his face was a elevator wait wait, wait. what did it say where this is going he have utterly destroyed them he have delivered them to the slaughter <laughs> Their slain also shall be cast out, and their sting shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. Isaiah. Wait, was that an actual Bible quote? Damn. Bible fucking what? <laughs> fucking gruesome. Hey guys, welcome back to the protagonist shaped bulge in Minos' stomach. We've got smelly what? enemies. We've got oh my god. Enemies. We've got it's actually like a really cool level. Intestine. Yeah, this looks uh, medically accurate. Like, as, a, as an idea. Inside. This level is an absolute gauntlet, specifically made to test your anatomical knowledge. You really have to <laughs> understand the game inside and out. Ah yes, my favorite part of the body. Winchester Mystery <laughs> House. This shit is like a nutty buddy cake for us most of uh, My favorite part, the Harry Potter stairs. Me when I fill the double gold cup with the Slurpee. I appear to be trapped inside of my mind prison. This is just like Persona 5. Now, I know that Minos' polygonal stomach may seem like a weird idea for a level, but at this point, I'm I mean, it's just pretty cool, actually. I never take back the things I've seen. It is a perfect way to visualize our descent into irreality. And honestly, I can't think of a more perfect metaphor for this video. Why, yes, I do edit <laughs> my videos to kill small animals. Why do you ask? Hey there, my flesh fans. Why is it so wobbly? The, uh, cool game where things are normal. Very normal. <laughs> what? Turn back now. I think I'm getting a Zoom call from God. For what purpose do you trample upon this palace? Palace? That's a fucking carcass. <laughs> machine. I mean, why do you? To question God is heresy, machine. But is for your information, I am driving the corpse of King Minos like a fucking Mazda. Okay. It Bye. appears that your choice is made. As the righteous yeah. hand of the... I mean, the introduction feels like that's gonna be the end boss of Act 1 or something. Father, I will beat you this dude's crazy. It reminds me of like a Pokemon, uh, not Pokemon, a Digimon. <laughs> Digimon, it's like those big angel dudes, or like women. Back into silicon. I think someone has daddy issues. I do not have daddy issues! <laughs> I am a special fucking boy! <laughs> that's an interesting way to put it. I want to be Papa Special Boy. Need a lot of blood for that. Welcome everyone to Bible Study Time. We're learning about stoning. The important lesson when fighting Gabriel is that you can't fight on his terms. In fact, don't fight him at all. Uninstall the game. <laughs> this angel is faster than you, hits harder than you, teleports Oof. behind you, and is what? overall a massive sweat machine. I wonder if it hurt when he fell from heaven. But try hard. It is very important to understand that Gabriel isn't an ultra kill boss. He's Senator Armstrong. Pure aggression <laughs> is not going to cut it this time. We need to use patience and also open heart surgery. This means that. 
Senator Gabriel. Using iframes like a drunk stepdad. This copy of Elden Ring is fucking weird. You may notice it's difficult to keep my camera on him. That is because this fight is looks very wild. Combo can be dodged if you are good at the game. I might not have the reflexes for this anymore. I'm not 16 anymore. But as for me, Gabriel beat my ass so hard that I saw Jesus, and he was in the <laughs> cleanest gritty I'd ever seen. You aren't even circumcised, machine! Excuse me? And if what? That That's not Christianity, I think. <laughs> wasn't enough for you. Gabriel has an entire second phase where he delivers God's judgment through the barrel of a gun. If you thought this fight was fast, then you haven't seen shit. I want to introduce my new OC, Shadow the Hedgehog. You are cringe, machine! <laughs> you are not on What are you Oh saying. my lord. Overall, though, this fight really makes you feel like you're fighting an angel because this shit is an act of God. But personally, I think it's better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. Plus, I already have a God and his name is Money. <laughs> Money solves our problems. I told you earlier. How can Epic this heavy breathing. <laughs> I'm actually a Nikon. It's just gonna leave again. This like V2. Oh. May your L's be many and your bitches few. <laughs> Dude, what a bird. <laughs> Jesus. How will he recover? Abandon the creator? Heresy. It is unworthy of the holy light. Gabriel, you stand accused of losing <laughs> to a fucking camera. But counsel, what? my devotion is absolute. The machine was enough. You have 24 hours before the father's light <gasps> leaves you. Yeah, that's a really harsh punishment, then, actually. You will die a husk, a thing. I suggest that you a prove your faith. Do you understand? Yes, counsel. Good. God damn. I need to play the game. It looks amazing. Although I feel like it might be might be like a little bit too fast paced. Although I've seen there's like um, different kind of like difficulties. So maybe I try it out on like easy or something <laughs> just to maybe kind of get a hang of it although normal should be a surprise right normal is usually like the intended way to play it although a lot of games nowadays put like higher difficulties as well into the game as kind of like a tendent for like all the achievements of the i don't know in any case i should probably play this this seems like a really good game it reminds me a lot of like doom in a way because it probably kind of is <laughs> Like an arena shooter running through areas, killing every monster and everything with like different kind of weapons and like combis of weapon attacks and everything. And then there's like boss fights where you have to find out the weakness or like the right attack pattern to like defeat them and stuff. I really need to play it. Another great video of Maxor. I like love his memes and like editing skills. It's like out of this world. <laughs> oh my god, how is he doing that? Although, judging by like how often he uploads, it's like every couple of months or something. I can see like that he really spends this time to like finish up the videos and like does like great work with it actually. I'm envious. I'm envious. I wish my editing skills were that good. Meanwhile I'm just like putting a fart sound in or something. <laughs> look guys, look mom, I'm editing. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to support Maxer. They're great at what I do. And don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.